At least the baby's playing. You playing? I don't even know what to do next yet. This bucket says Lego on it and doesn't have any Legos in it. That bucket. It's not labeled Lego. This it has all but Legos in it. So I'm gonna put those Legos into this one. have enough shelf space for all his toys. I don't even know how he got that many. I don't buy him toys. These are all, I guess, from birthday presents. I started this project back in April of 2020, and it is now September 3rd of 2020. Life happens, right? So, I mean, I've had it done essentially for a while. I just have not, you know, taken the time to sit here and film this. So, update since the last of it. I cleaned out everything, filled all those buckets properly, like Legos with Legos, Hot Wheels with Hot Wheels, and so forth. And then uh, my son wanted his room to go from Thomas theme from when he was three, and he picked out outer space. So here's his new bed sheets. I painted that years ago, and he wanted it in here because it looked like constellations. And it's hard to see, but like you can see on the sides that it's... Um, solar system like rocket ships and planets and stuff so he picked that out and we're gonna repaint this but these are supposed to be like moons was what my mom said and then she added that sticker to the clock and then I've just got to put my daughter's laundry up but um yeah he picked, it, he picked out her space but I put all his stuffed animals in this little hammock that my friend made with her crochet she did crochet and so that's that. Oh, he put up Captain Underpants, and then he painted this right here. He painted that. Um, and then I will show you now what my mom did. I wanted to film her making his shelves. She bought three because we needed him to have more shelf space because, you know, his books and then a lot of his toys and his schoolwork because of the pandemic, you know, we wanted like textbooks and his um, construction paper and his crowns and boxes and stuff to have a place and not just be strewn about the house. So I think it was $15 per shelf. So that's $45 for the three. And then my mom found a shower curtain that was a big galaxy, uh, our galaxy, the Milky Way solar system. And so she cut it in thirds and it fit exactly in the backs or in the, you know, back of all three. So this is what it looks like. So you can see that it's all the solar system, but then there's his books 
and that is his schoolwork one. I know I should have put it with the books. I might switch it with this one. But then all of this is his, his toys are all in there. And then that is his fort stuff in the closet there underneath. He does cardboard stuff. Oh, and then there's a sleeping bag that's like shaped like a rocket ship. Um, and then his guitar that he got for his birthday in underneath that closet area, which th those are our winter jackets that we keep over there. Cause that's, we don't have a coat closet. So that kind of had to be, be our coat closet, unfortunately, you know, you just maybe do with what you have, but at least he has his own room. So his prizes and stuff are up um, on the top shelf. We've got to find somewhere to put this on his walls. I was thinking probably by his dresser or next to his bed, but let's go through. So he got the Lord of the Rings trilogy for his birthday and then this is the little Noah's Ark thing and then that's some craft stuff that he still has to do. That's the only place where his T-Rex would fit. And then I just got more books and so I just have yet to put them on here but that's where they're gonna go. That's why there is a space there. But then he has all his Chronicles of Narnia and then these are his Captain Underpants and Dogman. Then these are all his Bible books. This is just where that would fit, but I'm gonna put it somewhere else because I don't want it to be where the books are. And then all his storybooks, um, both paperback and hardback. And then starting from up here, we have his science stuff, then Legos, Beanie Babies, train tracks, his sports, trains, Nerf guns, Nerf guns, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, art supplies, all of the little trucks. This is miscellaneous. And then his Nerf bullets, a new, a new Lego box since those two are full. And then puzzles and then this school stuff. And then right here is all the movies. And then this is his, for his shoes now. Oh, and then I've got to put this up. This is from his third grade, because now he's in fourth this year, and that's his third grade work. And I have to buy a little box to put in, because that's the paperwork he wanted to keep from it. Oh, and then this is really cute. This projects the moon, and then there's like a little way to switch it, but it projects like the moon, or the solar system, or I think under the sea. But yeah, so that's his room now, and it is finally clean. All I have to do now is, um, like, little tiny things, but overall it's clean and it's done, so that's awesome. And then this is his door. He, I remember doing stuff like that as a kid, but he picked out the these stickers and he placed them up there. And it's, like, that's Earth, and then there's Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, I mean, not Pluto, but he, you know, I, I grew up as, it was a planet. But anyways, that's the final update. Thanks for watching if you stuck around this far.